Item number SCP-777 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Even though SCP-777 cannot be contained, he has decided to stay at the Foundation so he can complete his mission. He is to be supplied with any and all things that he asks for. He is to stay in a room resembling a Japanese dojo with a tank of sharks, except the tank is in the floor. Description. SCP-777, or Dark Blade, Blade for short, as he chooses to be called, is a white male of about 17 years old. He has flowing white hair and green highlights and crystal blue eyes that reflect a dark past. He is clad in ebony armor that he made himself. His effect on female personnel, which may not even be a supernatural effect, is very powerful. He is a smooth pimp who gets all the ladies. He has chosen Iris as his bride though to wed when his mission is over. His element is water, which he has full control of, and he has a pet dragon who must be referred to as Set. Blade's power of water, as well as his supernatural skill with a katana, protects him from all harm. When he is attacked in any way, water shields will appear around him to deflect the attack back to the attackers. Interviewed SCP-777 Dark Blade Interviewer Dr. Begin Log Hello, 777. I trust you're enjoying your new accommodations? I am, but you must call me Dark Blade. Your SCP name is not the one that was given to me. Of course, Dark Blade. Now, why are you staying at the Foundation? Because, Doctor. My mission tells me I must. What mission is that? Dark Blade looks to the ceiling. I can't tell you, but it will save the known world. Then I am glad we found you. End log. Closing statement, it seems SCP-777 will be a very important asset to the Foundation. I know he's our savior, but we don't need fan sites to him. Come on, people. Doctor. Addendum 777-1 Darkblade has recently taken up the guitar and, being a fast learner, has mastered the skill. Addendum 777-2 A mild security breach was reported on Darkblade neither confirmed nor denied any part in the event but instead grinned slyly. Establishment of Dark Blade Sentinels Clef, you are the one who I've been waiting for? I am. Then I am ready. Take up your true weapon and tell me your true name. I am Death Metal, the son of Satan, wielder of the guitar of Weeping Souls, half Saiyan heir to Son Goku. Then together, let us ride and cleanse the world. By the tears of Mephistopheles, it shall be so. Yorick, you wanted to speak with me, sir. I did. What must I do? You are the Dark Heart, Kuren Nensensu. You are half vampire, half werewolf, and half ninja from an ancient clan. Take up your guntana and come with me. Yes, my master. Researcher Crack, hello SCP-777. Please, call me Darkblade. You wanted to see me, yes? You, thou homely succubus, will become my concubine. Is that objectionable? No, of course not. Kinky. Dr. Bright. Ooh, 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 what I get to be? You, my friend, are Bobo, my stalwart companion comic relief sidekick. You get to fetch coffee, keep my weapons polished, and generally make the rest of it look awesome by comparison. That doesn't sound very glamorous. You also get to wear this cool Viking helmet. Do you want decaf or regular? Dr. Klein. Good morning, SCP-777. It's Darkblade. Sorry. Ah, yes, of course. My apologies. How are you, Darkblade? Just fine, thank you. Well, that's great. Is there, um, is there anything I can do for you? No, nothing I can think of, although I appreciate your asking. I see. I'll, I'll be on my way out then. Goodbye. Goodbye. The video opens with Darkblade deep in meditation, his sword across his knees. Darkblade sits in blissful peace for several moments before he speaks, apparently to the shadowed door. I know you're there, scion of the machine. I'm not ready for this, lord. You were built ready, machine. You just need the right words. But no, I cannot. It is too… XYZZY, IDDQD. God, quicken. Arg! Dr. Gears drops to his knees, screaming, as his mechanical implants tear through his skin, every available surface glistening with gun barrels. Rise, scion of the machine, so you may show them. We shall bestow the path of the distrotricity upon them. Dr. Edison, here's a report on SCP-682 that you asked for, Mr. Darkblade. Thank you, Edison. Or should I say, Space Detective Common Mask X? Heh, <laughs> you're perceptive as ever, Darkblade. Here, here I was, thinking you forgot about your old rival. Puff of smoke, Edison appears a split second later wearing a spandex outfit with a visored helmet. 
You'll pay for the horrible things you did to me all those years ago. I've moved on, Edison. I've turned away from the darkness to embrace the light. Someday you'll understand. Someday I'll even atone for the vague sins I've committed upon you during my dark and troubled past that led to your decision to join the Galaxy Federation to spy on the Foundation in hopes that you could someday kill me. So, pulls out Laser Sword. Shall we dance? Indeed. Pulls out Katana. Dr. Trebuchet. 777 is it? Call me Darkblade. Blarkdade? Darkblade uses a phoenix down on Dr. Trebuchet, who is immediately brought back to life. Come with me, Epiphany, and we shall destroy the Mako generators that are draining life energy from the planet. Saving the world through eco-terrorism and corporate sabotage? Count me in. Darkblade picks Epiphany up like a duffel bag by the strap on her lab coat and jumps over the edge of a bridge onto a passing train below. They vanish off into the horizon. Darkblade is sitting on a bed of roses, wearing black jeans and a black t-shirt he purchased from Hot Topic. Research assistant Corbett burst in with purple highlighted hair and purple foundation on. So you came back, Blade? Yes. I came back. For you. Leading in. Never leave again, Blade. Crying. Darkblade grabs research assistant Corbett's chin and looks him in the eye. I never will, Salmon. Embraces research assistant Corbett. Oh, Blade. Filming. You guys are so hot. Darkblade is shown in his room, meditating over the shark enclosure. Delivery Agent Roadrunner enters the room, looking somewhat perturbed. I was called? Indeed you were. I have need of your vehicle. Oh, what for? I will be participating in a race. The prizes are artifacts that allow the user to ascend to godhood. My extremely stereotypical rival is entering, and I must see to it that his desire for power remains unfulfilled. You can have it. Over my dead body. Darkblade slowly stands and enters a fighting stance. Then you leave me no choice. Roadrunner tears his handgun out of its holster and levels it at Darkblade. Eat 230 grain jacketed hollow points, asshole. Darkblade proceeded to deflect all ten 45 caliber rounds away from himself using his unreal reactions and his katana. The last deflected round struck Roadrunner in the head, killing him. The security feed cuts off here and resumes half an hour later. Any traces of violence at the scene are gone, as well as the corpse. On the far wall, Roadrunner CZ-97B is seen mounted along with the many other trophies that Darkblade has taken from his fallen foes. Roadrunner's vehicle is immediately bequeathed to Darkblade. For further information, please view Experiment Log 777-A. Experiment Log 777-A SCP-777, who will be referred to as Blade due to higher authorization from the O5s because it is shorter, was politely asked if he would assist with assisting the Foundation experiments. He answered that he would because he has an enduring respect for the Foundation, even though we do not possess the means to force him to do anything. Indeed, we could not even monitor him were it not for his cooperation. It should be again noted that Blade's cooperation is very much appreciated. Test A1S Blade's attack shield was tested versus various forms of attack. It was found to redirect both regular damage damage damage, and empathic mind control mimetic damage, happy damage, aka damage to happiness, namely by surviving a 3.4 gigaton nuclear blast and being able to explain in detail SCP-055's nature. Test L8P Blade proved inedible to SCP-524. Obviously, as SCP-524 is especially savage, a hard fight was expected, but Blade just cut it in two with a katana. All the researchers present were impressed, but Blade was very modest. Test R-70 Blade was asked to spectate a fight between two other subjects. Partway into the match, Blade expressed his dismay at the progression of the combat and entered the ring, quickly dispatching both parties. Apologies to the researchers involved for the premature decommissions of SCP-682 and SCP-076. Test O-7-I Blade was observed while he ate a baked potato. He remarked on its flavor and… Test LKF Blade explained that he was bored and ran to SCP-001 in order to discuss the failures of the Abrahamic religions. Test XXX Blade's irresistible attractiveness to members of both sexes was tested. Agent attempted to sleep with Blade despite being happily married. All spectators agreed that Blade was really so hot. I mean, really. Test BFS Although this wasn't intended as a test. Blade was observed using SCP-572 to dismember several Ninja Class Ds that the Foundation maintained for just such experimental purposes. Test F-U! 
When introduced to SCP-056, SCP-056 was deeply respectful, even reverent. Oh wow, Darkblade, I'm so happy to meet you. You're so impressive. Agent and Deputy both agreed that SCP-056 was utterly sincere. Again, Blade politely and modestly rebuffed the praise because it makes him feel uncomfortable, because his ego is not significant. Test EYG SCP-887 was introduced to Blade, and the pair were left alone in the same room for a 14-hour period. The next morning, SCP-887 was found to have covered the room's walls and furnishings with gushing purple prose regarding he of the luscious hair and ebon armor, and several pretty pictures of smiling suns on happy meadows. Test OM-343 SCP-343 breached containment only to reappear next to Blade and attempted to initiate a high five. Blade left him hanging and commented, I don't believe in you. SCP-343 immediately vanished and is now listed as decommissioned. Test WTF LOL BBQ Soundly humiliated SCP-076-2 by pulling a katana from another dimension, then having said katana pull another smaller katana out of a different dimension.